Good morning, my name is Marco Zuppone, I'm a Dell case trainer based in Bracknell, UK. In this short video I'm going to explain you how to request and then install a valid SSL certificate from a trusted authority on the K3000. First of all, before to begin, we will need to have an open SSL software. Uh, you can find the binary already compiled for a Windows platform on this internet site, SL proweb.com slproweb.com and you can find them at this link I suggest to there are many versions but I think I think the best one is this one Windows 64 open SSL 1.0.1e I already downloaded it so we are going to install it Okay, if uh, during the installation is prompting you that it's not able to find uh, the Windows, Microsoft Windows uh, Visual C 2008 redistributables, you can find them here for uh, Windows 7 and, um, and Windows Vista and I think Windows 8 as well. Uh, this will bring you to the Microsoft Internet site where you will be able to download the right version needed from these OpenSSL binaries. Okay, we can proceed with the installation. It's very simple. It's only next, next, next mainly. I already sent the money to them. And now uh, the next operation is we need to define a, a, a environment variables. We can define it manually, but then we need to do it every time we use OpenSSL. Uh, the best way is to, uh, to define it uh, at the system level. So we are always, uh, this variable will be always defined. So we go here on the computer, on the properties advanced system setting, environment variables, and we click on the system variables, we click new. Okay, the name of the variable that we need is this one, is open SSL underscore conf. And the value is the uh, path where the configuration is uh, located. And normally, if you follow the normal setup with next 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 it should be this one and then we can press ok after defining this variable we will need to issue a command to generate our request we will need this request um, we need to upload this request or send it in some way, this request to our um, provider for the SSL certificate. And so we need to use a command line to, to do that. We open the command line, we change the directory to the open SSL installation, we go under the bin, and this is the command to issue. So it means that uh, we are invoking OpenSSL, um, asking to OpenSSL to, to create a request. Uh, the request uh, will uh, use a key, uh, will generate a key as well. Uh, will generate a, a, a key file, the K3000 key file. Uh, we will need it. It's very important that after generating the request, we keep all the files. Do not lose these files. If not, um, you will not be able to uh, use the certificate issued by the certification authority. Okay, so uh, we tell uh, we tell to you to use uh, um, the cryptography style RSA and the length of, of the key is 2048 bit. We need to reply to the 
to the question. So the country name in my case is UK. Province name in my case is Berkshire because I live there. Continue in my city. The organization. organization unit not of all of them are mandatory but the most important one this is the focal one is this one the common name the common name need to be the fully qualified domain name of your uh, k3000 website so uh, from the external you need to have an external domain name where the k3000 will you register that and uh, you need to enter here the fully qualified domain name if you make a mistake here and then you request the certificate and the certificate is issued uh, the certificate is not going to be valid for your k3000 so uh, it's very important to put it right uh, my k3000 is k3.mz.it my email address, I can put something like you can put a challenge password to protect the certificate if you want um, I, I skip that in my example I don't have a compa optional company name ok, it is done And now we have uh, the two files. One uh, it will be the the key, and the other will is the request. So you will need uh, to upload this request to your uh, SSL uh, provider, and then you need to wait uh, for a response from them. They will issue you a certificate. After the certification authority completes a series of checks, it will give you, it will issue the SSL certificate. And uh, normally, what they are going to send you is a CRT files that contain your SSL certificate, at least a part of it. <clears throat> Some uh, uh, certification uh, authority are are going to send you a um, bundle certificate as well and uh, so if this is the case for example in in my in my case with godaddy this was the case they sent me the um the main certificate and the, um, a chain certificate for the godaddy certification authority you will need to combine these two certificate together so how you can do this is quite simple you need to open um, an editor a text editor for example this one is a good one to do this and what you need to do is to take this one and then open this one as well they are text at the end they are text file and you can copy this one at the top or at the end does not make difference at all be sure to don't modify anything okay now we have everything we need now that we have everything we need to connect to the K3000 Then we need to go to the K3000 settings, SSL configuration. Okay, so <clears throat> here you will need to copy the key. The key is the one that you generated when you did the request. 
Okay, so let's go to open the key. was called k3000.key then the bundle plus the certificate in case you have only the certificate you only need to copy the certificate in case they give you a bundle you need to append the CRT certificate to the bundle certificates and then you need to press save. If you follow the procedure correctly and you copy and paste the certificate in the right text field, we can go to press save. Okay, this will take a bit. Is applying your certificate and restarting some services. It can take some minutes. When the operation is complete, it's a good idea uh, to double check that everything is really fine, to close your browser, open it again, browse your K3000, and verify that your browser is not telling you that the certificate is not trusted or there is a name mismatch between the um, K, uh, between the K3000 and the certificate name so if you want you can even inspect the certificate this, this certificate is verified by GoDaddy in my example and more information you can view the certificate you can have a look if everything is fine depends by the browser you have different kind of interface but it is important that when you browse it for example, with Firefox or Internet Explorer, it's not telling you um, the certificate is not trusted or there is a mismatch in the certificate name. Thank you for following this uh, short uh, uh, video about how to install an SSL certificate, uh, a request and install an SSL certificate on your K3000. I hope you enjoyed it and find it useful. Uh, thank you very much and bye.